for taste. It's an excellent choice. Watch it all for taste. Break this shit up. Yeah. All right, welcome back to All for Taste. Today we're going to have one from the state of Alabama. This is from Fairhope, Alabama. This is the Fairhope Brewery, five, I'm sorry, 51 Pale Ale. 51, not sure what it, uh, what it means, but it's a 51 Pale Ale. Um, let's see, it says from... Um, Brewed and bottled, Fairhope, Alabama, Brewing Company, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, ABV says 5.8. 5.8. There we go. Sorry, I got some smoke going on. We're starting the grill. Um, yeah. Go ahead and pop it open. Like a good pale ale while you're grilling. Whoa. Got some, uh, got some spewage happening in here. Probably because I kept on doing that with the bottle when I was looking at the label. Stupid me. That's all right. We'll... we'll Put in here rather gingerly, hopefully, to not get too much head. We want some head, but not too much. Not going there. All right. There we go. There's the bottle there. Um, oh, just to make sure you saw the artwork. It's got a, looks like it's got a uh, pelican, I guess, on front. A nice pelican with, he's wearing some type of hat, a red, white, and blue ball cap. So, yep. There we go. And just to show you the... Bottle cap, it's just a big F with a pelican in it. Kind of cool little uh, logo, I guess. All right. And, uh, yeah, beer looks pretty good. It's a, what, I had about a finger, a slightly over a finger head. Of course, I had to do it real gingerly because I shook the bottle around. But uh, and it's a uh, pretty pretty hazy, uh, like a honey uh, honey color. The head's just off-white, really tightly packed. It looks good. It looks like a real good beer. Look at that beer. Well, of course, I got my Naval brewery uh, so yeah i got my naval brewery glass going on but uh, yeah it looks really really nice beautiful looking beer let's go ahead and smell it Ooh, yeah it's some uh yeah you get some nice uh orange maybe even some tangerines really really sweet orange uh smell got some uh got some smoke flavor also but uh oh man that smells really good really good from uh from the nose. All right, let's go ahead and taste it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, um, yeah, definitely get some uh, the orange peel. Maybe tangerine peel. Like I said, it's a little sweet. I say sweet, a little bit sweeter orange than just orange. Does that make sense? I think tangerines are a little sweeter. Maybe even a little bit of grapefruit, but very little. But uh, you know, the bitterness is kind of way down. Of course, it's a pale ale, so I'm not sure what the uh, the IBUs are. Probably doesn't say it on here. It just says the alcohol percentage, 5.8. But, uh, yeah, yeah, very nice beer. Um, I think I said it once before. We were going to go to the, the brewery in Fairhope. We're probably about, I don't know, two hours maybe, two and a half hours from there. We were going to go one day. Just something came up. We weren't able to go. But, uh, yeah, when I go there, I'm going to definitely taste this and uh, drink some of their others off the tap. We'll do a good review of that and take a look at the brewery itself. But, uh Anyway, this is a good beer if you can find it. I'm not sure where they distribute it. It's uh, an Alabama beer. I'm not sure how how well they're distributed, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from the state of Alabama, right? Roll Tide. Oh, by the way, Roll Tide, right? All right, thanks for watching. Peace. are getting the idea. Look, folks, it's like this. If you don't work here, and you don't sleep here, you don't sleep with anybody that works here, well, uh, Dennis, they only have one choice no matter, don't they? Well, that's, that's his choice. Get the hell out!